number nine. How do you simplify ln of half? Want to simplify ln of one over two. Okay, so this here it gets again ln here is our natural logarithm, right? So ln here is our natural logarithm. Logarithm. And if it's a natural logarithm, it actually follows all the logarithmic rules, right? So we know that. <clears throat> so there's a couple of uh, logarithmic rules you need to know before we jump into this. So I'm going to use log first. And it's not log, but I'll use log first. So if I have log of x, x, y here, it's going to equal the log of x plus the log of y. And then if I have log of x divided by y here, I know it's log of x minus log of y. So for the, for log here, if this is the, again, this is the logarithm here, I have a natural logarithm also follows these rules, right? So ln of x of x times y is ln x plus ln y, and ln of x divided by y is ln x minus ln y here. So knowing this rule, what we can do is we can actually solve for this guy here, right? So let me do this in blue. So if ln of one over two, it's going to equal ln of x here, which is simply the ln of one minus the ln of y here, which is ln of two, right? And we know ln of one here. The ln of one here is indeed zero, right? So this case here, this would be zero minus ln two. So therefore, my my if I want to simplify ln of half here, this is simply just negative ln two here. And this here is our solution for this problem here. Um, and you can actually plug in ln two if you want to figure out your uh, the, uh, the the decimal place here. If I were to get that, I would get here. This is negative 0 0.69315. And this here is our correct solution for number nine here. And this solution here is correct. So again, this solution is correct because they use the logarithmic rule as well. Which is correct. Good analysis. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you.